No, Adobe Dimension is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud, and it's their it's a 3D program designed to really take the headaches out of creating 3D objects and really just make it as fun and easy as possible to make a 3D scene. <clears throat> so we can go here and do create new. And the interface is pretty simple. If you have a three button mouse, you can use the left mouse button and the right mouse button and the middle mouse button to navigate. And the scroll wheel as well, if you have one. I just want to show you the keyboard shortcuts in case you have a trackpad for navigation. This would be command on an Apple computer, but it would just all be the left mouse button and then control plus spacebar, shift, or alt to do the pan, orbit, or the hand tool. And the other thing that's great about Dimension is it comes with a lot of pre-built UV mapped 3D models that are, you know, kind of based off of product renderings that you might be doing for any kind of work. And the cool part about these is they're already built and they're also already UV mapped. So it's completely possible within minutes to add a label to this bottle to do a mock up. And I'm not going to do this right now for this one, but I just want to show you that there are so there are many really well-made 3D models that can just be dropped in and and placed with custom designs that you make in Photoshop. There's also materials that are pre-made, metals and glasses and plastics. There's also substance materials, which is a third-party material making uh, software that Adobe recently acquired, and directional lights, environmental lights and also images that can be used for backgrounds. This is all within Adobe Dimension. It's part of the Creative Cloud. And what we're going to be using today for that Walgreens experience is an LED sign. And if you just double click on it and you're seeing it shows up. And we can zoom out with a scroll wheel and orbit around. And what's really great is we can right away just click on this screen right here. And if you go up here to the scene, you can see where there's an environment, a camera, and the LED sign asset. There's a frame in the screen as well. So if we go to the screen right here, we can double click. And right here, there's a screen material. And then what we can do right down here in actions is to place a graphic on the model as long as we have the screen model selected if we click that we can load in uh, Photoshop files that we made that can go on to this model now the idea behind this Walgreens ad is to remind people that Walgreens can print photos it has a really good photo center that you can send you can just upload digital files to on the website and they can be printed at any store in the country. So if your parents or your mom lives in a different part of the country, like in California, and you're in New York or DC, you can actually just select a store near her house and upload the images to the website and they'll be printed out within the hour at the store closer to her. So I think that's actually, it's a great use of Walgreens as opposed to going somewhere online like tiny prints and waiting a couple weeks to get the, the pictures. So I'm just going to drop in a picture of my son that I have back here. You load it in. This is just a uh, JPEG. It's loaded in right there. There's two sides which is great so you can add a different image right there if you want. And you can just scale it up like this to fit on the model drag it around to place it and there you go image is set we can put another one right here if we want but we're just gonna be using this one side anyway and also if you wanted to you can select the frame right here and go into the metal material 
and you can change the color if you'd like. You know, we could do a white maybe, or we could do like more of a Walgreens red. It could be more, um, you know, on brand. But I'm actually just going to do the stick with the dark gray. That's where you would do that. You have a couple other material options like roughness and glow and the metallic reflection. But I'm just going to leave it like that. So here we have an LED sign with a custom image put on it. And we're going to make this uh, ready to go for Adobe Arrow. And the way to do that is if we just select the LED sign, which is a group right here, file, export, selected for arrow. Gives you a message about file size. It's better to do anything less than 50 megabytes. And we can export there. What it's gonna do <clears throat> by default is in, it's gonna set it inside your Creative Cloud files which is a shared folder that goes up to the Creative Cloud and you can access uh, through your either Explorer or Finder windows. So it'll send it to here. It'll send it wherever you want, but it can send it right here, which then can be accessed uh, from your phone or iPad through the uh, Adobe Arrow app. So I'm just gonna make a new folder just to keep this organized like that. Go in there. LED screen, hit save. It'll export it and then send it to the Creative Cloud Files cloud folder. We'll go to that, we'll get back to that in a second. Now the next thing we want to do is create the text that was a part of the capture right here. Now, I went through a couple different things to get here, and I think it's gonna be really helpful to know my process. Uh, at first I tried to do Photoshop files because people online have said that it's possible, um, and it is, but I found that it got to be really pixelated and was hard to really get nice sharp edges. So what I ended up doing was I made the text in Illustrator, brought that into Photoshop, and then used the uh, 3D section inside Photoshop to extrude these uh, text files into 3D and then brought those into dimensions. So I'll show you that process in the next section.